Seeing all these new recruits makes me miss the old days. Ahem. Are you paying attention? What? No, I was rem... Are you in possession of an eye? Caution. Bees and distress. So... How did you find an eye? It was a hideous beast lurking inside. Ouch! Or rude! How could I lure that hideous beast out? Pumpkin was housing too many squirrels for my taste. West Tournament Theater, North Town Square, South Under Development coming next spring. I have to get these all picked before I can go home. Leave me be so I can finish my work. A new kind of horn, but the same result. The horn reeked of toothpaste and cabbage. Luckily, those were flavors I liked. Mmm, so toothpasty, so cabbagey. Yep, I blew on that horn five times. Well, six times. After a while, I lost count of how many times I blew on that horn. Then I remembered, I blew the horn at least eight times. I should get a trophy, or an achievement, for how many times I blew on that horn. I was too slow to catch those frogs. I tried again, but it was no use. Did I ever tell you about the time I tried to catch a frog? It was riveting. <laughs> Grandpa. After trying for hours to catch those frogs, I was exhausted and thought I was going to croak. Not funny. <laughs> I had to be careful with my cape while sliding around for those frogs. I didn't want to rip it. I don't know what's worse, <laughs> dad jokes or grandpa jokes. All right, all right, enough words. I'm starting to get a fog in my throat. <laughs> Do squirrels count as hideous?
precious. The badger wanted to make friends with the squirrels. I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. Hello there, and good afternoon. If I do say so myself, sometimes you roll the dice, and they all come up wenty. Even though the bridges are out, and my supplier has gone missing, I sold yesterday's bread when I wasn't even here. Oh, I wish more people were that trustworthy around Daventry. Now, you fine strapping lad, how may I help you? Looks like we could put some love on those bones. What's today's special? Oh, well, today I am baking up quite the treat. Grandma's star shroom pie. A delicacy big enough to feed an army. Or someone with the appetite of an army. I've eaten it in one sitting before. Well, don't judge. No one would trust a skinny baker, now would they? Unfortunately, my ingredients haven't been delivered. And I can't complete the recipe. Until those bridges get fixed, people will just have to settle for the love in my goat hoof pie instead. Ah, tell you what. If you can find me some starberries and sugar shrooms, you can have this monster pie for the discounted price of one gold coin. Got any free samples? Oh, today only. I'm letting people sample our new walnut strudel. However, I ran out of bitter root. It's really nasty on its own, but it really brings out the nutty flavor of the strudel. It usually grows under big, heavy rocks. If you can find me some, you can have all the free samples you want. That's not a delicious, chocolate, hideous beast eye cake I smell cooking, is it? Looking for an eye, are you? Well, it must be that time of year again. Frankly, I can't tolerate it. The Fays weren't raised that way. It's archaic! So much fighting and needless killing! Compassion comes from the heart, you know? As does food! If you want to get to the heart of any problem, all you need is pie! You look like a compassionate fella, like myself. And I think we're going to get along right as raisins. Uh, please. Don't take part in the violence. Good day. Bye bye. On the delivery boy, are you? That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, hush feathers, Chester. This boy's no courier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He appears to be a compassionate gentleman, but he is clearly out of his comfort zone. He is one who needs to think more with his brain and less with his heart if he is going to defeat the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? No, we're just very old and very judgmental people. It's true, we're judges. This is my judging face. Ariel and I don't read fortunes anymore. Yep, there was no future in it. Well, we've shifted our core business to potions, curiosities, and the occasional practical joke. <laughs> Uh, we gladly share our wisdom for free, but everything else starts at one shiny gold coin. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. What 
wisdom can we share today? So, I've just got to know, what is brewing in that cauldron? Is it a transfiguration elixir? Is it an invincibility potion? If I drink it, will I understand the language of creatures? Will I sprout the wings of an eagle? Or a fly? Oh, this? Teeth whitening potion. Oh, it's going to change everything. Watch this. Behold the power of whitening! Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well, we're still working out the kinks. While we're still in the prototype phase, feel free to dip whatever you want in there free of charge. How's that teeth whitening potion coming? Oh, we're still working on it. You can dip whatever you want in it for free. No guarantees it'll come out right, though. Fare thee well. Always look on the smart side of life. Hey, Graham. If you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. I woke up on the floor, my bed nowhere to be found. Can you believe that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. Back away from the Crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. Ready for action? Bye. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches! How much for that twisty dagger over there? It's not for sale. Needs a bit more work. No one should notice one bell missing. The announcement board was covered until round two of the tournament. King Edward gave us everything we have. His legacy was tarnished in his later years, but he was a once great man. And he left me with a daventry to grow into the kingdom it is today. better stand on this side of the rock. It wouldn't budge.
Hasn't anyone told you it's not polite to go stomping around on people's backs? Give me one good reason not to gobble you up right now. If you let me go, I can return to you with bundles of royal food. You see, I I'm training to be a knight. If you release me, I'll make sure the king rewards you for your troubles. <laughs> You're a little scrawny for a knight. A long neck and a silly feather like that. <laughs> Are you sure you aren't a goose? Yes, I am quite sure I am not a goose. That's exactly what a goose would say. Lucky for you, Ulfie hates the taste of goose. The feathers are bad for digestion. Now, where do you want from Ulfie, Goosey? Can you share with me why all the bridges seem to be missing in Daventry? Well, little Goosey, until further notice, the Bridge Troll Guild is officially on strike. For too long have we, the Bridges, have been stomped on by sharp pointed shoes of the puny guards. And do they care that my back breaks out in an itchy rash from all that marching? Of course not! As Pilar says, for shame, Daflintry! We're not going back to work until the kingdom can take better care of their roads. I should be at the meeting. Pernolfi always shows up fashionably late, <laughs> right when the croissants are served. You wouldn't happen to know where I can find an Eye of a Beast, would you? Is it time for the tournament already? I thought that was on Tuesday. Oh, bother. My memory's failing again. Alfie's been suffering from sleep deprivation. A very rude monster has been snarling in the bushes behind my back. Is this monster you speak of hideous, perchance? Snarling Snarlax is legendarily hideous. Those puny guards of Daventry would surely be impressed by his eye. It is rumored the beast has two purple eyes with bright blue glowing pupils, six legs, three claws, and one tooth. I could let you cross and perhaps even help you with that fire-eyed monster, but since Ulfie didn't eat you, Ulfie needs a pick-me-up. This big tooth is a sweet one. If you bring me something to eat, I'll consider helping you. What are all those weird instruments around the bridges for? Usually those horns are used to summon its associated bridge troll to fill the gap. But we have removed all mouthpieces until we get word from the head of the guild. Ulfi was instructed to keep all his horns hidden from humans. <laughs> I keep mine under my butt. Shh. Happy trails. Waddle back briskly, Goosey. Ophi is starving. I have to get these all picked before I can go home. Leave me be so I can finish my work. Oh, the Queen loved music. King Edward strung all those bells to remind us all. Strange.
peculiar trap. All right, sugar shrooms. Fantastical floating island. Only steps away. It's so floaty. You'll be amazed. Don't worry. The Wetzels will be here soon, Princess Madeline. You just pranced into a dark cave filled with vicious wolves? You know, I'm not sure. Maybe I should pause for... You just pranced into a dark cave filled with vicious wolves? You know, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll... Almost there. World's greatest and only floating island. Don't turn right. No floating islands that way. Starberries framed a serene view. Shame about that buzzing beehive, though. My love. You're my everything. I might not have enough money for a ring yet, but I just can't wait any longer. Will you be mine forever? I better put this back. Someone had set the scene for a lovely evening. Ruin the bees' day, <laughs> that lovely meal. I tucked the berries away for later, even though I was craving a cliffside snack.
someone had set the scene for a lovely evening. Figure out what you want. Good day. Don't forget to follow your heart. Wow, these sugar shrooms look amazing. Just the right amount of shroomy and not too sugary. Now, if you can find me the starberries, she's all yours for the discounted rate of one shiny gold coin. Oh, these starberries are perfectly ripe, just squishy enough, and with a faint scent of musky cabbage. Now, if you pass me one shiny gold coin, Grandma's giant star shroom pie is all yours. So you spent your only coin to buy that giant pie? I did. I knew that delicious smelling pie would somehow get me to the next round of the tournament. Oh, thanks for the patronage. Share this pie with a friend or two, or three. <laughs> and good luck in the tournament. Are you ready to order? We must put some love on those bones. I make frosting in the day for pastries, and in the night for nibbling. Thanks for the momentary lapse in conversation. Ulfi was unquestionably hangry. Now that I am refurbished, let us extract that snarling Snarlax eye. Earthquake! It's all yours now. Whisper can do it. Fret not, Goosey. It is the two-eyed Snarling Snarlax after all. London Bridges! Whisper! I, uh, mm, Ophie has a new plan. First we'll... Then you'll... Then I'll... But first, you'll need this. 
Whenever you need me, just give it a blow. For those brave souls that are still with us, welcome back. Now, you may have heard some squawking from a few naysayers in our kingdom concerned with the ethics of the tournament. <laughs> but proclamations and addendums aside, this is the way we have always done it in Daventry, and this is the way we will continue to do it. Now, Knight Hopefuls, if you would be so kind as to present your eyes. Uh, hold still. Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. Is this hideous enough for you? Um, yes. This is... Uh, I don't think any addendums cover this. Congratulations, Graham! Welcome to the tournament! That troll is pretty ugly. Yeah, ugly in a sort of pretty way. That's not exactly what I meant. You know, like your cousin Hilda. Take that and that! Oh. Mr. Springbottom. What? You're surprised I'm competing in this stuffed animal tournament? You know what? I will make some stories of my own. <laughs> I'll pick up where my last book left off. It was called 31 Ways to Slay a Monster. You're just too adorable to fight, Mr. Springbottom. Let's dance instead. Twirling and best friends and twirling. <gasps> Gwendolyn! I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh, I'll take care of it, dear. I came to tell you your grandfather is ready for you. Run along, go have some adventures. Just try to have your next adventure away from my glass vases, please. Now it's time for my favorite part of the tournament, the duels. <laughs> you will compete against each other in a duel of strength and a duel of speed, with the winners facing off in a championship duel of wits. The pairings of knights were selected at random, so no complaining. I'm looking at you, Whisper. Any ties will be settled in sudden death. The winner, of course, will gain the knight position. The duel of strength will take place at our fantastical and wondrous floating island. And bring your steed to the tournament theater for the duel of speed. Please unveil the tournament board. I will remain here for any questions. And good luck to you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot. Has anyone seen that archer knight around? He probably headed home. He mentioned how hard it was for him to be away from his family. Whisper saw him headed towards the dark, scary well. Well, proclamation 4637373713467378 states that any knight who voluntarily leaves a competition needs to sign the release form on the back of his portrait. We've had problems in the past. Do I have any volunteers to track down his signature? Wonderful. Thank you, Pockets. Here's his portrait. If you could get him to sign it, that would be great. And talk to me if you have any further questions. Let the duels commence! Which did you tackle first? Duel of speed or the duel of strength?
And that's why you shouldn't wolf down your food. Grandpa! Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> An overgrown patch of spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to the water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. I heard some guards gossiping, and I have to say, I'm impressed that you did not back down from that massive troll. A picnic, however, is disgraceful. They need to get back to work, not have tea parties. What can I get you? So, I've been meaning to ask. What is that amazing blade for? Is it for battling vicious werebears? How many ice orcs has it slain? Does it deal justice? Is it road legal? Is it made of fear? Oh, that? No, no, that's for gardening. I use it to trim my hedges. Seeing as my place is all tended to, and my petunias are most lovely, I'm willing to part with it for the price of one shiny gold coin. I'm sure you've got a prickly situation that needs attending. How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. Bye. Fortune favors the bold, and Amaya favors the fortune. Oh, Graham, a little squirrel told me the news. <laughs> I couldn't be more delighted. It's not often someone takes my advice around here. I'm happy you're a customer, but I'd like to call you a friend as well. Oh, <laughs> great job. Yes, lad. So, do you have any news you wish to share? Oh, <laughs> can you tell? Am I blushing? I'm engaged, Graham. My love, Bramble, said yes. Oh, that's great. Congratulations. Oh, the evening was perfect. The view was gorgeous. And the insects were kept at bay. You keep doing you, Wenty. Good day. Aren't you glad you came here today?
It's Graham, the soft of heart. The wannabe knight with a heart of gold. <laughs> Congratulations on making it to the next round of the tournament. Our crystal ball told us about the eye you presented. It was an alternative way to go. Not as clever as what we would have cooked up, but you made a new friend. I guess that counts for something. Uh, perhaps we shouldn't expect too much rule bending from a nice guy like you. Just be careful. Around here, compassionate people get taken advantage of. No matter your choice in life, we will gladly take your money. Business is business. Now, Chester, can you hand me the Frog's Breath Elixir? Frog's Breath Elixir? Yes. Uh, where is that? <laughs> uh, we seem to be out of... Uh, <laughs> you drank it all again, didn't you? Muriel, my blood sugar was low. Mm -hmm. oh, it's just so tasty. Since you can't keep your mitts off our supplies, we are halting production. This potion will have to wait until that merchant brings us our delivery. If you find a frog, bring it directly to me and I will gladly trade you a sample of this potion. And then I'll have to drink the delicious froggy leftovers. Until then, no more free dips. The prototyping phase was over. No more free dips. Remember that? <laughs> the squirrels will most certainly remember that. Step lively. Alfie needs to get back to the guild meeting. It's almost croissant time! And that's why you shouldn't... on his time management skills. Hey, my no, coin! No, Pilar, I don't know if I'd say it like that. It better come soon. If 
I could find a fast way down there, I would be able to hear the password. Nice of you to find. Thanks for getting Ulfie out of there. That meeting was getting heated. Hey, Graham. What can I get you? Bye. Forget what those other guys say. A sword is mightier than a pen. Now, Graham, promise me you will only use this for its intended purpose. I shall be brave in all my hedge trimmings. Those plants will never see it coming. Machaco was last seen headed down here. Shame he didn't find his eye in time for the tournament. But Grandpa, the dragon lives down there. I didn't know that he had Gwendolyn, and pretend you don't either. This story takes place before the one I told you last night. Sometimes a story is best told out of order. Oh, got it. <laughs> 